Here we are at Apiary 350 and we've uh, found a queen that needs marking. We mark the queens um, so that we're able to tell which year they are. This year we mark them yellow. She's been trapped in a, um, a queen cage. So she's in here and we're going to apply some CO2 which you'll see will put her to sleep for a short while while we stick a or glue a micro dot of the appropriate colour. There it is. And there it is uh, onto her um, thorax. So here we go. The act of doing it. We need to seal it as much as we can so we just place it in and give it a Okay. Few seconds, and we should seconds. see we should start see. to take to the effect to the of the queen, queen in a minute. She has a little bit of a she panics wobble. a little bit, we think, maybe. Yeah, now once she starts to calm, which she's calming now, we'll give a little bit more. There we go. And we should see it go. Now the queen marking kits that we're using, they're readily available from uh, most of the uh, beekeeping suppliers. Um, you can see a kit, a kit like this, unless you <laughs> really are a queen breeder, is going to last you many, many years. Um, so, here we go. Okay, now the queen is pretty much now asleep. Uh, the carbon dioxide has that effect on her, um, so we can now release her out onto the top of this other hive where we can work with her. Um, there we go. So that's probably does need a little bit more, see. maybe, just to send her off a little bit more. Yeah, we want to make sure that she's not going to get disoriented because she's actually nowhere near her own hive, and she will not be able to locate it. Her orientation was some time ago when she was mating, so she will not be able to do anything. So, now for heat purposes, we'll we'll move her off. Yeah, because the, top, the tops of the, these hives can be quite warm. So we have a micro dot there, micro dot. and we we'll take a bit of glue. Take a bit of glue. There we go. And this all comes in the kit, so it's no good me trying to explain what kind of glue it is because I just don't know. Uh, we balance that over her thorax. Okay. She's waking up a little bit, this one. Okay, there we go. And that's enough glue to mark her so that we can identify her easily when we're going through the hive. And that's how we do that with um, CO2. We didn't so, give her enough, really. We, we didn't really give her normally enough. Normally, we can pick up. We the can queen. do it in. We have a, a proper Varroa test kit there, and we could use that to put her in, which we have done before. Just um, to show. She's just there. She is quite happy. So come. we want to wait for her to come around a bit. We don't want her to f be uh, too upset. This is the hive she's come from. Very healthy colony. Building up really well. Nice and calm. Now these bees are um, currently don't have the queen with them. Colin will bring the queen back over and then we'll reassemble this again. These are doing really well, quite a weak colony to start with, They're probably on six frames. Uh, here comes the queen, so if we just pop her there, she should. Now the others, they know who she is, Straight so away. they welcome her because she doesn't, she has to be fed by the worker bees, so they're all familiar with who she is. They're not sure about the dot. I mean, that's uh, something a little bit strange. She's still got to come round. Um, and we'll see. Okay. Just encourage her a bit. She's obviously disoriented by the CO2, but she's really good layer. We've been through this uh, colony. And if she is, go on, drop off. <laughs> She's clinging on, she's not quite sure what's happened. I guess it's it's like any of us, a little bit disoriented after a, a, a little a light little. operation, I guess. And she's uh. hanging on. There we go. So there she is now. So if we can see her, the rest of the bees will be quite attentive. Once they're happy with her, 
she'll be uh, she'll recover and they, she'll go down into the hive. They, they do tend to freeze a little bit like that. And so what we'll do is we'll watch her for a little while. If she doesn't start to move off into the frame, if you just give her a nudge, she'll start walking straight away. So uh, let them have a little bit of a clean. Yeah, and she's obviously, she's covered in CO2 and, and the bees, because they're all pheromone driven, will have detected something, there's something uh, strange, but they're, they're quite happy. You can see her little antenna moving, and you probably cannot see it with this, but she's there. And they're all going to be protective of her because she's over the top of the hive. And we'll leave her at that. Because we can't replace really the queen excluder. The way to get her going is we move some of the bees, give her a little touch. She Down is. she goes, she's gone. She's gone, she's walked in. So she's good, so now I'm safe to put the queen excluder back on. And that was Bourneville Beekeepers marking a queen.